Hey guys, it's Wally Franklin here of uh, Fits You Films, and we're here on our Entrepreneurship Live, and we're here with Wayne Woodard of what Ambitious up? Graphics. We're live in the on the set, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. We're about to go ahead and produce a manufacturing video, but first off, uh, I wanted to to ask Wayne a couple questions for all the entrepreneurs out there. Um, you know, he's a successful entrepreneur, and we want to know more about how he uh, got his rise to the top. So Wayne, tell us a little bit about how you started out, man. Uh, well, as far as this business or just entrepreneurship, period? Entrepreneurship, man. Um, I actually, I mean, I guess my entrepreneurial spirit started in high school. Like when mm -hmm. I was in high school, I used to sell jerseys off my back to other students. I would always kind of go, to the school with maybe two jerseys just in case somebody wanted to buy the okay. one I was wearing. So um, it's kind of where it started. Uh, I just thought it was cold in Buffalo, so you laid it up. That's what I thought it was. I mean, well, you know, I had one in my book bag. One in my book bag, son. One in my book bag. I didn't wear two at the same time. So one in my book bag, one on my back. Okay, okay. Just in we, case one gets okay. soft. I just want to get some clarity. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. But it was cold. I would wear a t shirt over under my jersey for that layering process. <laughs> But um, from there, um, I think after that, I learned how to cut hair. So I was cutting hair for a little bit. Um, car audio, did that. Uh, collection, I had a collection agency for a little bit. Um, and then t-shirts and now um, printing t-shirts. Okay, um, so, so you, you've party really- Party promotion as well. I did so you've promotion. really kind of been through several different types of, I guess, business models, you can say. Right, most definitely. Um, so you've definitely got a lot of experience in this. A little bit, a little bit. Um, tell us this, I know one of the biggest things for entrepreneurs is really just motivation, man. How do you keep that that mentality, that grind going when it's tough, man? Like, what do you what do you tell yourself in the morning? You just drink a certain kind of coffee. I see you got the, the coffee in your hand. What's going on? <laughs> um, really, I just stay plugged in some different motivational speakers. Um, okay. I mean, really, that's my secret, I guess you can say. Okay. Um, I'm constantly like, I, I don't really look, if I'm listening to music, it's some kind of motivational music. I'm not listening to like, no trap music or nothing like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like your body, I mean, like, you gotta feed yourself certain things. Okay. So, whatever you listen to, whatever you watch, um, is real important because whether you realize it or not, it's having an impact on your subconscious mind. Okay. So, I constantly just make sure I'm feeding myself motivational, positive messages. Um, whether it be reading, uh, listening to something, or watching something. If it's okay. not positive, I can't get anything out of it. I really don't want to watch it because I don't want to taint my mind, if you will. You know what I'm saying? So I try to stay away from like reality TV and stuff like that. But just with the way my mind is built at this point, it, I always try to find the positive in everything I kind of consume. Mm -hmm. So even with reality TV, I'm looking at it like, oh, okay, look at these businesses that they're you know, attacking themselves with, or look at how this certain business is actually using this platform to market itself. Because, I mean, a lot of people don't notice. Whenever they're at a certain restaurant, they show the name of the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's a form of marketing. They had to pay the show in order to get that, you know, that marketing piece on there. So, so it's important what you feed yourself, essentially. Exactly. Okay. Super important. So what, whatever you put in, kind of like you are what you eat, you are what you read, you exactly. are what you exactly. listen to. So kind of to piggyback on that, and this is going to be the last question, we're going to get back to work and let you do your thing. Let's do it. Um, how many uh, shots of espresso are now planned? <laughs> how many shots of espresso is But um, Two. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, um, how important are mentors to you? And, and, and your, I guess, your growth or your development, um, how important are mentors in general? Super important, super okay. important. Like, I have several mentors. Some of them I have met, some of them I haven't. Um, you don't necessarily have to touch your mentors. Um, you find somebody in the industry that you're interested in, and you just study them. Like, you figure out, you follow them. Like, social media makes it so easy to, to study the people that you're uh, interested in. So, right. a couple people that I'm uh, following right now is... Uh, a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk and mm -hmm. um, also Eric Thomas. Those are two guys that I'm really following. I take them as mentor. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy, man. I follow right. him too. And so what I do is whenever I get get a chance, if they're near me in some way, shape, or form, as far as like doing some kind of conference or something like that, no matter the cost, mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's it's good to invest inside of your 
um, I guess your growth and development. Okay. So, you know. So that's, that's like the education piece. Education Pretty piece. Pretty much. Okay. So like this Thursday, I'm actually going to go uh, be a mentor with uh, the Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk and actually Tony Robbins as well. Pay uh, $200 for that. Um, some people were like, what the heck? Why would you pay that much to go? Right. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll pay $200 for a concert and you don't get nothing from it. That's you know true. What I'm saying? You that's get true. to hear some music that you already hear on the radio. You know what I'm saying? You just get to see them live, which for me, I would prefer to just see them on record because it's, it's edited. <laughs> right. It's mastered. You okay. Know what I'm saying? But, so. That's it. So pretty much mentors are essential, whether super, they're super, 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 whether I guess tangible and tangible, you can touch them or not. Right. Because um, I mean, the things that they know, it, it's going to shorten your learning curve. True. It's gonna shorten and that's your that's curve. super important. Man. Yeah. Super important. Well, we're going to go ahead and get back to work. I'm going to let you get back to work. Finish off the uh, the triple double espresso, the <laughs> quadruple. <now. laughs> It's but uh, espresso I know, cream, right? Baby. That's it. <laughs> that's the secret to success. Drink espresso <laughs> shots, nothing else. And uh, no, we're just playing. Do not drink that much espresso. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, um, Wayne Wooded, Ambitious Graphics, Wally Franklin. Oh, seconds. Yes, that's the brand. Yeah. Very nice shirt. He made this t-shirt, by the way. If you guys, need any t-shirts made? Order any t-shirts? Contact Wayne. Let's go. We have the contact information right here. You know, just look down. You see right there on the screen, and uh, give him a call. I mean, right here for you. I'm happy to help. There we go. Hey, I'm Wiley Franklin, Fit Two Films. Thanks, guys. See you later on the next episode.